Hey, He from my neighborhood, he building bikes and tracks, whatever you like, we going on trails, and even we be jumping off heights. Is that what you like? <laughs> to all the niggas who can't fight, you better act like you don't hear what I'm saying and everything's all right. Hey, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Black excellence, spotlight. Boy, we doing our thing with this this one right here, bro. I'm telling you, this black excellence, just finding all these excellent black people that got phenomenal things going on amongst the black community. Bro, so we've been we've been getting bombarded with people hitting us like, bro, I'm I'm excellent. I know. Because <laughs> you're black. And that's excellent enough right there. But today, I got my dog in here with me, man. This was this is a cold dude, man. For what he does, I'm, I'm gonna jump into the paperwork, cause. Y'all ain't gonna believe it if I say it, bro. This guy sitting right here, it's John Sanders. John Sanders, first of all, how you gonna not trust a nigga named John Sanders? <laughs> His name's John Sanders, he's trustworthy, but this dude hit me on social media, showed me some dope ass bikes that he built, man. He got this. These bikes that he built, he got these mobile art pieces, right? It's not yeah. just bikes, bro. Uh -huh. So he got his own custom bikes, man. So y'all show some love for that. That's that's big. You ain't seen. It's not a lot of black owned. I don't even know what you call people who build bikes. Are you a, a bicyclist? <laughs> <laughs> now that's the motherfucker who ride. Them. Nah, yeah, but he's yeah. he's a custom bike builder. Yeah, I'm on and. He's, he's in here with us today, man, all the way out of Miami, Florida, man. Let's let's get some backstory. Tell yeah, me how you yeah. got started in this, man. Okay. Um, backstory, bro. So basically, like I said, playing football at University of Buffalo. Shout out to the University yeah, of Buffalo. Yeah. What oh, position, guys. bro? I played uh, corner and strong safety. They, they just getting away scholarships, bro. This, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta nah. have a heart to play strong Actually, safety. Actually, I walked down and got a scholarship. So, Word? Yeah, That's you know natural what I mean? talent. Yeah. Flex on no them. No Correct doubt. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, I needed to get to practice, and uh, I didn't really want to wait for like the bus. You yeah, know what I mean? so bus anyway, is lame as hell. Yeah, yeah. So and plus, it's cold, in Buffalo. It's fuck freezing. So um, I was like, you know, let me get a bicycle. So I don't know how a bike was better than the bus, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. I didn't see where you was going with that you one, know, bro. You had, to, you had to get places. You know, with a bicycle, you can go anywhere you want, man. A bus is only gonna take but you. But it's snow you everywhere in Buffalo. Yeah, but you know, you gotta make moves, man. You gotta get. You gotta go. So you was there. I wasn't. I got you. You know got better you. than I. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I get the bicycle and whatnot. I'm like, man, I can't take it to the locker room because it's just not right. You know what I mean? So yeah. I went on paint it or whatnot. And then uh, my dog Joe. You know, shout out to Joe. Barbara. Everybody got a partner named yeah, Joe. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to my partner Joe. He over there. Yeah. Your partner Joe. Yeah. No and doubt. all y'all partners named Joe. Yeah, yeah, Joe. And man. all the average Joes. No, no doubt. And people who smoke Joe. <laughs> No doubt, Joe off of Kenmore, man, the coop. Check him out, bro. Likes excellent barber. But uh, anyway, he was like, man, you know, you can't paint like that. You got you paint all the parts. You got to take all the parts off. Long story short, he took me to uh, Go Bikes. It's like a little Buffalo like community bike shop. Long story short, you know, I went in every like Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and it was just like a sponge, man. Just learning from everybody. So I'd take bicycles and like bring them in and like fix them or whatnot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So long story short, you know what I'm saying? I get back to the house. And um, start over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Motivated now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get back home. Really, it was my wife, you know, face. She was just like, stop just painting bikes and just like painting for other people. See, that's the, let me stop right there and just talk about the importance of having a woman that believe in yeah, you. Like, you no could have just really been out here just painting shit yeah, had yeah. she not said that. Yeah, Where yeah. Where you meet at? I met her in college. How did you know she was the one? Man, it was just that feeling, you know, just seeing her, you know, around and like she was very trustworthy from the jump. So I think that's all it helps. Hell yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. needs somebody they can trust. Especially motherfucker who don't steal. 
Like if your girl, if you see your girl to the store, she bring your change back, whether you keep it or not, that's just show you you dealing yeah, with something. Yeah, yeah. Nah, she she held it down forever, man. So that was up forever. Know, yeah, since yeah, day forever. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was up, bro. So um, so she's like, you know, go ahead and make bites. So long story short, real, real funny. My, my grandma hit me up and was like, hey, check this this wrestler out. Kai Russell in high that school. That is the one who's random. <laughs> no, but hold on, check I'm, I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere. Watch, watch this. But so, you just a random call from grandma. Baby, look at this rational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, she was like, check him out. You know, y'all kind of look alike. And I was like, you know, that's kind of odd. All right, so you know, I look him up and I'm like, all right, you know, we kind of look alike, whatever, you know. So, Who is uh, the wrestler? Uh, Jordan Burroughs. He's I'm out the wrestling loop. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, he's a, he's, no, nah, he's a, he's a uh, Olympian, man. Oh, he's, he's badass. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, no, nah, gold medalist. Check him out, man. Black wrestler, he's, he's a beast. You get him on here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, he was like, you know, so anyway, check him out. My, uh, and then his uh, fiance hit me up, and she's like, hey, I, I see you painting bikes. Like, I want to get something for Jordan, kind of special. Would you do something? I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. And so I'm just like, wait a minute, hold on, Jordan, like Burrow? She's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, my grandma was just telling me about this dude last week. You know damn, what I mean? that's crazy. Yeah, that's so, more than a coincidence. That's the universe moving. Grandma was on it. On it, always on it. She been on it from day one, telling me to go ahead and go after it. So I appreciate that too. You know what I mean? So, bro, you do look like that one. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So that's what pretty much birthed it, man. You know, yeah. went on. Yeah. Had you not looked like him. So what did you end up doing for him? Like, what piece did you? Well, she off? said, you know, he likes gold because, like I said, he won the gold medal in Olympics. Thing is, 2013 and whatnot, um, and like American flag. So I kind of American flagged it for him, put some gold rims. It's like my very first first custom. You know what I mean? So I did that for him, and uh, like I said, I moved back down to south of Florida, and just wanted to, you know, go at it a little bit more mm. and try to do that. So just putting this blunt out. No, go ahead. Bro. No, you got a great story, bro. Yeah, some, what's some of your favorite pieces that you've put together so far? So far. Um, it's kind of, I'm, I'm like the Michelin man, right? So yeah. you make a tire or whatnot, you hug it, and he's like, you didn't want to see it go. But I feel like every one I do, I really like. Cause like, you know, I tap in with the people. Custom. Also, yeah, 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 what they want. So I know like I did like a frog, dark frog one. That was pretty funny, but the lady was out in Texas. Yeah. So while I was painting, I was in Texas. You know what I mean? So I was getting into it. So favorite piece, oh uh, man, probably had to be a uh, Sean Taylor piece. Okay. I did a piece for Sean Taylor, man. Um, I know his peoples. So they was like, I, everyone was making shoes or, you know, hats, t-shirts, once you make something. Right, that's why it was so crazy when you sent me this shot. Like, bro, this shit is dope as hell. Yeah, bro. You so. definitely need to be on a platform where people can see it. Yeah. So do you do just like custom bikes or do you do trikes or just, are you in the whole, are you getting getting into the whole thing? Like, yeah, well, actually, I want to tap into, like, electric as well. For real? You know That's I mean? the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, right, electric bikes are pretty dope, but pretty much fixies, you know what I mean? Whatever you ride, like road, you know what I mean? You said fixies. You were dropping the lingo in there like we know this well, shit. Fixies is like a fixed bicycle, so basically yeah. it's consistently moving. I'm going to start calling the chicks who had the body surgery that, <laughs> oh, she a fixie. She had to go get fixed. <laughs> No doubt, no <laughs> doubt, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty much, you know, stuff like that. But as far as future for it, man, just keep on creating, probably move on to other avenues of painting. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've also, like, painted airplanes, too. You an artist? Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, so everything's hand custom, hand designed. So I come, like I said, come with the idea. Yeah. And just flow it out. Bro, what, what's, the, what's the price range running? You know black people want to know how much it costs, man. You got... Where you starting off at? I got reasonable prices for you know what I put out because yeah. they're they're true one on one pieces. Would it be mean? cheaper to bring a fixie? Like I bring you a fixie and like, bruh, bring it back. I got you. Yeah, I could do that. It's so you gonna... do kind of restoration too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I refurbish it. So you got something that's kind of like messed up or you weren't painted. Yeah. I send everything down and hit, get it back right for you. Cool, man. Yeah. Well, you ever find yourself like on some, like you have to revert back to your real nigga, like you at the bike shop just going on a whole geek mode, like, wait a minute, I'm a real ass nigga, hold on, don't get it fucked up. <laughs> nah, actually, I don't really, you know, I don't really rock with bicycle shops, you know what really? I mean? Nah, because I, I can get parts, I get parts that they can't get, you know what I mean? I create what they can't do, mm. you know what I mean? So I, I don't even really worry about them. If anything, I go in there and let them, like, fix on one. Yeah. And I take it and ship it, you know, get it shipped out. That's what's up, yeah. bro. Well, I just hope you keep doing your motherfucking thing, man, because it's just bro. dope to see 
black men getting into other avenues, you know? Yeah. Do you run into a lot of black people like on that side of the world, you know, in the bike world? No, not yeah. at all, man. I think I've probably met one other brother before. Let's but... start a bike team. Let's do it. I mean, well, there's there's one down south. There's some cats we probably link with, but JRS. Yeah. Nah, we start our own shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Should be hard too, though. All the kind of bikes riding through, like I said, it's mobile art, man. There's there's things that are true, like I said, one on ones that never been seen before. And I feel like this is this is one of those industries that never really died out. But you are seeing people do more shit like that, like getting outside and riding bikes and stuff like it's that. It's crazy, especially with the whole pand you know, pandemic, yeah. whatnot. People, you know, start riding bikes. And so I started seeing things move a little bit more that way, you yeah. know, with that. But I feel like people always need bikes, man. Man, while we sitting here chopping it up, just right quick, let them know where they can find you, check out some of your work and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Uh, you can find my Instagram, JRS Custom Bicycles. Uh, my website, jrscustombicycles.com. Can you place orders on the website? Yeah, yeah. It's best to just hit me up, call me, because like I said, it's, it's detail, right? right? So I got to know what you want. So it's giving me a call, you know, we can work everything out. So it's not just the bikes that you do, it's like you do art pieces also yeah, yeah, for yeah. like exhibits and just people who want, you know, art at the house and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it's versatile. So like I said, if you want a piece at the house, you can, I can paint it for you, you can hang it up on the wall. Yeah. It's an art piece, you know what I mean? Or you can take it down and you can ride around, you know, but I guarantee you people are going to stop you, right. talk to you and ask you where you got that from. So when people order you bikes and you ship it to them, is it like, is it fully assembled or some assembly? It's probably about 80%, yeah. you know what I mean? So, cause just cause package size or whatnot, but all you gotta do is- That's, put, that's one of the problems I be running into out here, package size. No, nah, <laughs> that was too good to pass up. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> but no, so it's like, you know, I, I build it up for them, but all you gotta do is put the front tire on and just the handlebar, it's pretty easy. Yeah, so. Even a novice could finish up the Anybody shit that you're doing. Yeah. I can't believe you ain't bring me shit, bro. You ain't, oh, I, I, I've been told you I was going to order something. You must have thought my I, money ain't no good. Nah, anymore. I got you, Don't man. get it fucked up. This <laughs> not my only job. I got you. Well, we could do something, bro. I, I, got, I got a piece for you, though. You lying. It's, what you bring? So it's an 85 South type of concept. You know what I mean? You, so. Hold up, man. What my knife? Anybody? What my knife? No, you don't want, you don't want to use a knife. Open man, it for me, because you, you, you know might. where the sensitive you areas might. are. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. Oh, Come on, bro. JRS Customs. There you go, man. Let me get this. What you bring us, man? J-O-N, you see this? You got your hand held out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know this nigga had a camera. <laughs> bro, we might sue you. You can't put this footage out. <laughs> We own this footage, bro. <laughs> Can't bootleg this shit. Uh, there you have it, folks. We're gonna be looking for a new music director. <laughs> Find out this nigga been bootlegging the show <laughs> the whole time. It's the behind the scenes, on the scenes. <laughs> oh shit! So, bro. Kind of like, let me see. No, we man, this crazy. There we go. How the hell we gonna hang this up in the trap? We I might just have to lean that bitch up on the table or something. That shit is hard. Nah, you don't want to do that. So here we go. Nigga. Do you see so, this? There you go, bro. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, yeah. I want the rest of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it could be whatever you want, bro. So. It's going to be an art piece for now, bro. Yeah, no doubt. How long are you in town? Uh, for, to like Thursday. Bro, you got to. Uh, we want to send you to the bike yeah, shop. I got, got you. We can, yeah, I, yeah, I know yeah. you ain't got your custom shit here with you, bro. Nah, but I can get whatever you need, man. Bro, you know what I need. I need some wheels. I need a motor. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you got to have a seat. I don't know what kind of freaky ass yeah. shit you have. <laughs> Nigga, I might even put a basket on that bitch. I like to care. Can I put a basket on my shit? You can do that, bro. I want yeah, a custom yeah, basket yeah. on that yeah, bitch. Yeah, whatever With some want, baskets bro. on, three baskets, two on the side. In the front. I got you, dog. You think I'm bullshitting. I'm dead to fuck serious. Nah, let's do it, man. Gold baskets. Nigga, that's hard than a motherfucker, bro. You, Just bro. know, you always welcome here at the 85 South Show. I'm going to make sure that 85 percenters hit no you doubt, up. No we doubt. got a black-owned bike builder right here in the trap with us. My man, John Sanders. Appreciate 85 you. South Show. Black excellence. We out of here. Check that bitch out again. <laughs> He looking appreciate like a bar. It, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs>